feature tube is the most well-known type of cathode ray tube. It is commonly used as the method of display in televisions, computers and oscilloscopes, although liquid crystal displays and thin film transistor plasma displays are slowly replacing them. Picture tubes are also referred to as vacuum tubes, electron tubes and television tubes. All picture tubes have three distinct stages, the electron gun, deflection and the screen. The electron gun is composed of a small heating element and a number of metal cylinders. The heater warms a cylinder surrounding it, which is coated in barium strontium oxide. This generates a field of free electrons which are repelled from the cylinder, a cathode, which carries a negative charge. The field is funneled into a narrow beam and accelerated to very high speed. Immediately after the electron beam leaves the gun, it encounters the fields produced by the deflection system. Deflection of the beam is achieved by one of two methods. The most common method used in televisions and computer monitors is magnetic. A set of electromagnets arranged around the neck of the tube attract and repel the electron beam to an extent variable according to the strength of the field. Beam deflection takes place on two axes, line, horizontally, and field, vertically. There are generally two coils for each axis, the line coils being connected in parallel, the field coils being connected in series. Another method, generally used in oscilloscopes because of its enormous resistance, is electrostatic deflection. Four plates are arranged in a square formation inside the tube. If the top plate is positively charged and the bottom plate negative, then the beam will be deflected upwards. After deflection, the electron beam is accelerated by several thousand volts. In modern monochrome tubes, this is typically between 4 and 8 thousand volts, while color tubes generally use 25 thousand volts and above. The electrode that achieves this is the accelerating anode. It usually takes the form of a conductive paint on the inside of the tube. Connection to it is made by a hole in the glass, sealed by a small metal plate on the inside. The last stage in the picture tube is to convert the kinetic energy of the electrons into light. This is done by a chemical called phosphor. In a monochrome tube, blue and yellow phosphors are mixed together to form white and spread evenly over the inside of the screen. In a color tube, three electron guns are used and three separate phosphors are on the screen, one for red, one for green and another for blue. A common misperception here is that the three electron beams are different colors. In fact, the beams have no color. In a similar way as shining white light at red paper produces red light and green paper produces green light, so firing a high-speed electron beam at red phosphor produces red light and firing that same beam as green phosphor produces green light. In a monochrome tube, the phosphor is spread uniformly over the screen. There is one electron beam, so it can be pointed anywhere on the screen with no problems. In a color tube, there are three beams, each carrying different signals. If the beam with the red signal lands on a green phosphor, then what is meant to be a red brick house will appear to be a green brick house. Since the phosphors are arranged in the vertical columns and the beams move from left to right, a system is required whereby the blue and green phosphors are in the shadow of the red beam. This effect is achieved by a sheet of metal fitted immediately behind the phosphors punched with holes, one for each set of phosphors. An alternative arrangement, used generally in smaller standard resolution tubes, is a vertical grill the slits being the width of one phosphor column, with one slit for each set of phosphors. The sheet and the grill are called the shadow mask. The high voltage is generally derived from the line deflection signal. A diode in the transformer rectifies the AC, and the small capacitor needed to smooth it is within the tube. The accelerating anode forms one plate, the glass tube forms the electrolyte, and an earthed layer on the outside forms the other plate. Picture tubes, like all other thermonic cathode ray tubes,
contain a high vacuum so that the electron beam is not obstructed by the molecules of the air. This makes them dangerous to handle if you don't know what you're doing. To make safe a picture tube, a long-handled broom is used to knock off the electron gun, leaving a hole big enough for the air to enter without causing implosion and subsequent explosion. Picture tubes are perfectly safe during operation, however, because of a feature known as integral implosion protection.